What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Marvel Legends Excalibur X-Men 3 pack of Megan, Captain Britain, and Shadowcat. If you're trying to pick this up, you can do so at the, the Hasbro Pulse, I just said it's a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, but if you're trying to get your other Marvel Legends, you can do so at... Search your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you! Link below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And oh, I'm so happy to have this. I am actually honestly mostly stoked for the two female characters over here. On the side, you can see the trading cards for each of them looking very cool from those X-Men trading cards. You can see the read-ups over here for each of them, which I think is really cool that they included that or made it legible enough so that you could read it. So that's pretty awesome. And then on this side right here, you can see the cards again. Then you get a spot varnished yellow X logo and all these smaller gray X's and then not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open <laughs> and here are all three figures out of the packaging and I gotta say right off the bat not a bad looking set we get some not bad looking accessories as well so let's get a closer look at those and then we'll take a closer look at the figures so aside from the two Captain Britain head sculpts here are all the accessories that we get with the figures and I'm very happy to see interchangeable hands for the female figures this isn't always the case happening a lot more frequently nowadays i really like that and excalibur over here looks really good as far as the sculpt goes i really love the details in this and everything just really wish they used a bright metallic silver paint for this blade that would have made it look even better but i do like the sculpt of it and then captain britain comes with excalibur holding hands and fisted hands and then we get lockheed over here looking really good it's the same lockheed as before and again we have nice detail painted for those eyes and i do like the subtle black black paint right there on the torso and the neck of this little figurine and it's sometimes tricky getting him posed on shadow cat but you know you can make it work you just uh, take your time with it and i just want to point out that the deco on the megan hands see that they've just painted over that part of her suit onto the hands but it does look pretty clean so i'm happy with these <laughs> So you're just looking at the Megan figure, and I get this Lilu Dallas multi-pass vibe from her, right? I don't know, if you read the Excalibur books, you know what I'm talking about. I love that she can turn into blue whenever she's kind of, you know, I don't know, itching to hang with Kurt, so I have always thought that was really neat. But I gotta say, I really like this head sculpt a lot, aside from the teeth. Like, right over here, it's like the overbite is a bit much, and it's just throwing me off a little bit. But, you know, when I'm farther away, it doesn't look as bad, but whenever I get back to looking at it more closely, it just comes up again, and it always bothers me. Maybe it's the way that upper lip is sculpted or painted, right? There's something just off with her mouth. But the eyes look really good. The eyebrows look great. I love the elfy ears right over there. The hair is absolutely fantastic. Very subtle wash over here with the darker blonde over the blonde blonde color plastic. I just like the way it was sculpted, so that's looking fantastic. Really dig that a lot, but just to warn you guys, oh man, I, I wish I heated up the figure before I moved the head around because her hair got stuck to her butt. Yeah, so I heard a click sound when I moved it, and then sure enough, uh, you could see some paint came off of her butt, and then you could see some of that black paint is on her hair. So I do have a scuffed butt on my figure, which bothers me some, especially because I'm a big fan of those. And then you could see that we get nice clavicle sculpted right over there and everything, and then nice trim lines and everything. So that looks pretty clean. However, you could see the flesh tone in the armpit, and that's always weird. So yeah, that throws me off, so I always have to try to hide that, you know. Kind of wish they could figure a way to avoid that, but it looks like they have to keep the hinge, the flesh color, and then the arm is actually green, but painted flesh over there. And then looking at the rest of the figure, we've seen these body parts before. Uh, the green is just slightly different from where you could see it over here on the torso, but I only notice that when I'm looking at it close up, but you know, it is there. And then we have the reused pepper patas, which I don't mind, and they look really good. And you can see the suit is just painted over the feet right over there, not looking bad at all. And then we have peg holes at the bottom of the feet so as per usual with the comic figures we have reused body molds for these three figures but we have the new head sculpt over here you can turn her head side to side the hair will get in the way uh, the head shifts forward and back like a pile driver a bit so that does help things she can look down but she can 
not look up. And even moving that diaphragm joint right there, she can't really, oh, wait, oh, I'm making it happen. I feel like I'm gonna pop the head off, but that's as far up as I could really get with the figure. And then she does have good head pivoting. <laughs> So I will admit it's hard for me to keep track of all the Captain Britain suits. I'm not the biggest Captain Britain fan. I do like the character, but yeah, I do know that this suit is not the one that matches the Megan Green suit because she had the orange turtleneck suit while she was with Captain Britain or when Captain Britain had this kind of suit on. So it's not really a perfect match, but I don't really know much about this bearded version either. I just think this is the contemporary version of Captain Britain and it does look really good. I like how the beard looks, the face looks really good except for that little piece of paint missing right over there on the tip of the nose. But yeah, the, the flag design and everything looks pretty clean. Nice line work on this, so I do like it. But of course, I'm probably going to have uh, this one displayed because I'm more familiar with it. And while I really do like the sculpt of this, the paint apps just did not come out right on my copy. You can see like the lines are not even, you know, the symmetry is just all off over here. Even around here, the symmetry seems a little off. So yeah, I wish I'd gotten a little bit better deco on this head sculpt. And you can see the red bleeding around over there. It looks pretty good on this side. So really not the cleanest head sculpt. You can see how the lines aren't really matching. Oh man, it's not centered and stuff. So yeah, wish I'd gotten a better copy, but the body mold does look really good over here. And the line paint looks fairly clean. It does look fuzzy in some parts right over here. And I do have a little bit of paint missing right there. It's like a little bit of a smudge. So not absolutely perfect. But you can see, you know, some little imperfections here and there. And yeah, the body mold looks really good. I do like this. I think this is the Thor Odinson body mold, if I remember correctly. The gloves look dope right over there. And it's got the big old meaty legs. And then you can see the calves right over here. Uh, this is just not lining up perfectly. That throws me off some. So that one lines up okay. But yeah, eh, they're both just slightly off, but this one more so for sure. And then we do get the peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Also wanted to mention that this would have been a cool time for them to go pinless with these arms. You know, I don't know if this is all brand new over here, but you know, if it's all brand new. I wish they'd gone pinless because yeah, you could see red over there. And then right over here, we're, we're supposed to have blue. So that does bother me a little bit. But I am impressed with the paintwork inside the joints. That does look very clean. And we've seen this body mold before on the Thor Odinson figure, but it's been a long time since I've seen Hasbro reuse this. You get a little bit of head tilting right there. Shoulders move outward that far. Inward, rotating full 360. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. All the hands turn side to side and hinge up and down. Ab crunch forward, ab crunch back, waist cut. Hips move outward that far. Kicks forward, back, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees. Ankles do move down move up he has calf rotation and beautiful ankle pivot <laughs> Then here we have Shadow Cat, which is the one I've been looking forward to the most, but I also have the most complaints with this figure out of the three. I do like Shadow Cat from the Excalibur books. I like how she's all insecure and everything, especially being around the smoking hot Megan and Phoenix, you know? So, but you know, ask Billy the Kid, she likes her. <laughs> and this head sculpt, I do like the face. The face looks really good. I just don't like the hair. And when they announced this, I mentioned that back then, mentioning it now. I mean, if it was on another figure, uh, you know, the sculpt looks fine no paint detail or anything in it but yeah i just wish that she had the big old poofy 80s hair and uh, they've dialed it down big time we do have the mask sculpted on her face so you can feel that right over there and i do think the paintwork does look pretty good and yeah same gripe that i have with the hair i have with the rest of the figure just more poof like a lot poofier I almost wish that they gave her a cut at the waist and did kind of like a Kang kind of thing where they, you know, put, you know, just the whole upper torso on a ball joint at the waist. I think that would have fit with this kind of suit design because it just doesn't feel baggy enough. Just wish it was all poofy, you know. Uh, the arms are poofy and everything. Just, I wish there was just more poof going on over here. But I do like how the wrinkles are sculpted over here and get the V-neck right there and everything. And then we've seen uh, the lower torso and everything before with the Kate Bishop body mold. And by the way, I'm all caught up with my Hawkeye show, which, oh my God. Uh, anyway, this is new, right? Because we have the cat, or they used this on a different figure before. Uh, I think it was like the same one that they used for Spider-Gwen and everything, right? She has a calf cut right there. There's looking at the feet and she has the peg holes. Then I guess Shadow Cat has the most new going on. These 
these upper arms were not reused on the AOA Rogue like I had originally thought. So, totally wrong about that, Russ. Good job, dude. Anyway, you can move the head side to side. Uh, well, it, she could turn her head to her right, but when you turn her head to her left, it does get in the way with this big old hair piece right here. But, you know, it, it works okay. You get some head pivoting. Uh, she can look up just a tiny bit, and she will look down. And then you get side-to-side -side motion at the diaphragm, diaphragm pivoting. Arms will move up above the 90 degree mark right there and they move almost all the way down, especially on the right side. That's looking good. You get a full 360 and then you get a single joint at the elbow and you get rotation at the elbow. It's really weird and clicky though, I gotta say. Then all the hands turn side to side and hinge up and down. Then you get the hips that move forward that much. Oh, as far as crunching forward, she doesn't really crunch forward much, but she does move back. Hips move outward and she will kick forward that much. Back a little bit, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, calf rotation, ankles move down, up and beautiful ankle pivot. Now to measure out these three figures, you can see Shadow Cat is the shortest standing right at about six inches tall and then captain britain is right at seven inches and then megan is at about six and a half inches or just a little under six and a half inches then here's the three pack set next to the marvel legends nightcrawler figure all we need is rachel summers to complete this or you know the rachel summers phoenix and then we will have a complete original five excalibur set and then for your captain britain comparison we have the captain britain from the abomination build a figure wave and the toy biz captain britain and not one of these three actually has the exact suit to go with this green suited Megan. But I will say out of the three of these, this one right over here, this new one, that one's my favorite. Then to compare Captain Britain next to a couple other characters rocking the Union Jack, we have Union Jack and Spider UK. Then for your Kitty Pride comparison, you can see that we have the Kitty Pride from the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure Wave, and then we have the Giant Man Wave Kitty Pride from Toy Biz. And this figure is the same height as this one right here. I feel like it's a good younger teenage Kitty Pride. Of course, she's a lot older with this design. And then here's the Excalibur 3-pack next to your average 6 inch scale figure, we have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Whoa, you two over there look awesome, but this little kid over here, I mean, what's she doing on a superhero team, huh? Could she do anything cool, huh? Huh? <laughs> 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 So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. It does help out the channel. And a big thanks to all these people over here going the extra mile to help this content grow and grow. If you're in a position to do so, check it out. Link in the description below. And these figures are a lot of fun. And oh man, I did have a lot of complaints. I really did. I'm still happy to have this set, especially because I've been wanting to have a Megan and a Shadow cat with this specific blue suit or design and everything i'm just really disappointed in the shadow cat more than anything else uh, the hair isn't big and poofy like i wanted uh the upper torso isn't big and poofy how it should be so that one it bothers me but god man i'm still happy to have it in the collection yeah i feel torn about it because hey it's an accurate enough depiction of the shadow cat i've wanted but it's just not the way I was hoping it would come out. So I'm still bummed out about it. Uh, the Captain Britain, not the exact suit that I want to see, but it's still the best Captain Britain in my collection. And then my favorite of the three, of course, is the Megan figure. So I'm really happy to have the Megan figure. Sad about the whole butt stainage thing with the hair and all that. If I heated it up first, I'm sure that wouldn't have happened, but I still like that one the most. That's the one that I was the most looking forward to. Well, the Shadow Cat and the Megan, I was both looking forward to equally, but yeah, the Megan's my favorite out of the three. But anyway, uh, for the price point of around uh, 65 bucks, I believe, I'm going to give this three pack set a sud rating of. It's not so bad. And I wish I could love it, but I don't love it. It's the Shadow Cat that's keeping it getting to that kind of rating. You know, I'm still bothered by it. But when I say it's not so bad, you know, at the same time, I'm still happy to get this blue Shadow Cat over here. And I'm happy with the Captain Britain and the Megan figures. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.
shot in your face. I said, we're shot, we're shot.